In this video, we're going to be talking about the characteristics and organization of a descriptive essay. Now, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to get out your writing journal and I want you to think about and write down everything that you know about a descriptive essay. In class, we will go over what you know. Okay, so pause the video, write down everything you know about a descriptive essay, and then we'll move on. Okay, now that you've written everything that you know about a descriptive essay, I want to show you some things that you may have written down or some things that you also need to think about. So first of all, what you may know, you know it describes a person, place, or thing. So we're going to be describing a noun. Also, it includes details and sensory language. What I'm talking about with sensory language, you're going to talk about how things feel, smell, taste, sound, and so on, what they look like. It includes an introduction, body paragraphs, and also a conclusion. This descriptive essay is going to be a five paragraph essay. Some things that you'll need to think about. You want to think about what will you describe, what details should you, will you include, and also what will you write about in each section of the essay. Now what I want you to do is turn to page 360 of your practice companion book and I want you to take a look at these five questions that I have right up on the screen and I want you to answer these five questions as you're reading crack crash boom on page 360 of your practice companion book so think about why why do you think the author chose to write a descriptive essay for whom do you think the author wrote this how can you tell this is a descriptive essay what does the title tell you about this essay and how does it relate to the first paragraph and finally what kinds of words does the author use to describe the storm so, <coughs> so excuse me so read page 360 in your practice companion book the writing model crack crash boom answer those questions and we'll go over your answers in class today so pause the video now now that you've answered those questions we're going to move on to talking about the characteristics of a descriptive essay I do want you to get out your writing journal and I want you to refer to this as you're writing your piece throughout this unit so first of all a good descriptive essay gives a detailed picture of a person place or thing has an opening paragraphs that graph that grabs the reader's attention and tells about tells the topic of the essay so it's very very important I always talk about including a hook and a really interesting opening paragraph to really draw your reader in has middle paragraphs that provide details about a different part of the subject so think about you know at think about the topic that you're wanting to write about can you fill three full paragraphs talking about different parts of that subject okay includes a closing paragraph that tells what the writer thinks about the topic also includes sensory details and also figurative language so I do want you to pause the video write down these five characteristics of a descriptive essay that you'll be able to refer to throughout writing your descriptive essay so pause the video now now that we've talked about the characteristics of a descriptive essay, of a descriptive essay, excuse me. Now we're going to we're going to take a look at the organization of a descriptive essay. As I said before, the organization of a descriptive essay is going to be a five paragraph essay. So, first of all, whenever you're thinking about it, and we're going to compare this to the writing model. So we can see the topic of that model is thunderstorms. Paragraph 1 introduces the topic so I won't necessarily include what's in that paragraph and also the last paragraph talks about the writer's feelings about the thunderstorm so I'm not going to include that either but taking a look at paragraph 2, 3, and 4 so I talked about this third section what a, de what a good descriptive essay does has middle paragraphs that provides detail about a different part of the subject and you can see within the writing model you can see paragraph 2 includes a description of the sound of a thunderstorm that a thunderstorm makes it's loud it's like a train so loud deals with what it sounds like okay so like a train is a figurative language that kind of helps us understand a little bit more about what a thunderstorm sounds like as well so description of of the wind in a thunderstorm you can see within paragraph three 
some of the some of the very good descriptive words the author used it howls it whistles it snatches really helps us understand a you know a little bit more about the wind and what it's like and then also in paragraph four it's talking about that the rain pours down in sheets it clatters and it gushes so really good descriptive words that the author used to help describe describe the thunderstorm so you can see a little bit more of paragraph two three and four the middle paragraphs we know paragraph one is going to introduce the topic paragraph five is going to talk about the writer's feelings but paragraphs two three and four is really going to focus in on the descriptive part of that essay so this is what we're going to be going over in class today so when you come to class you're going to be making a three core um, three category chart people, places, and things. You're going to be listing some possible possible topics for your descriptive essay. Once again, it's very important to include a topic that you can really write, you know, a five paragraph essay on, not something that's, you know, not very deep or anything like that. So try to think of a really good topic that you can use that you can really write a, a very good descriptive essay on. So this concludes the video on the characteristics and organization of a descriptive essay. If you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.